There we go. Okay. Is your Wi-Fi okay, Rebecca? Okay. Took me a while to get mine going. Hope I have an okay connection. All right. I guess we'll find out if I have people who join me. Welcome. It is Mystery Card Monday. You're on Tamara's Paper Trail. I am Tamara Bertram coming to you from Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. It says I'm live on YouTube. We'll see how my connection is going. It took, uh, took... Okay, it took all of like 10 seconds of spinning, but you know what we're like these days, 10 seconds of spinning, you're like, what, what, what's going wrong? We're so used to instant, right? So hopefully the connection is okay and you can hear me. Hello, Melanie. How are you? Happy Monday. There's Tracy. All right. I was going to message you, Tracy, saying our operator standing by because I've got a lot to go over tonight and I need my operator. Hello. Hi, Christine. Christine, did you see my post? I did a post. I've got lots to go over tonight. Lots of stuff and things. Hello, Teresa. We got a few. We got, oh, eyeballs are jumping in all over the place. Hi, Jan. 13. Let's see if we can get that number up. I just, I've just had a sneezing fit, so I'm not sure what I'm allergic to tonight. But anyway, <laughs> hi, Melissa. Hi, Carol. Hello. Hello, hello. 16 eyeballs. All right, we'll keep them coming. Now, I am going to, uh, first I'm going to get tissue. As discussed, I literally just had like a sneezing fit. Um, so let me just, because this always happens when you go live, right? So, pardon me. I'm back. All right, okay, a few more eyeballs are sharing. Hi, Joy. Hello. Hi, Lynn. Lena. Hi, honey. Marcel, all the way in PEI. It's two. Is it three hours different there now? What? We fell back. So, what time is it there now, Marcel? Is it 10.02? Yeah, it's not It's not later. Do you guys have daylight savings time, Marcella? I don't even know. All of Canada does. No, not Saskatchewan doesn't. I don't even know. Hello, Cheryl. <laughs> yeah, you are on YouTube. Excellent. Yeah, you guys, you can watch me on YouTube. The only thing with YouTube is you can't see any of the comments. So you'll think that I'm talking to myself because you won't understand. <laughs> Where, where are these comments coming from? You can't see the comments, but, uh, oh no. You know what, Melanie? I, uh, my back is killing me and I think it's the arthritis. Yeah. Gets angry when you're done work. Oh, mine gets angry in this weather. It's when the weather changes. I'm like, Argh. hello, Sydney. Hello. Welcome. Okay. All right. Michelle. Hi. All right. So I'm going to start. No, I'm not going to start blathering. I'm going to blather, but with a purpose this time. Okay. Like it's so cold out here. I'm so not going to be Lots of things I need to go over because it's urgent. Time is of the essence, my friends. Tonight, tonight, Tamara is staying up past her nine o'clock bedtime. I am going to be up until midnight because I am going to be ordering from the online exclusive pre-order. Hi, Donna. Hi, Debbie. Uh, so if you guys want any of these items, now I am telling you right now, there are some more items that are going to land. One of them is like a soda pop bundle. Um... There's, uh, it was in a different graphic I had. There are, there's a few other things that are going to be in there, but these ones I know are being released and I know the prices. So this is what I've put out there to the people going, Hey, if you want me to scoop these for you tonight at midnight, I will tag it into my orders. You guys can sleep and I'll be working away. <laughs> the garden meadows bundle. This is the one with the beautiful paper, the meandering meadows paper. You guys, I don't know how much they've planned to buy, but I'm thinking it's not enough. You know what's going on with all our, the, the all about autumn paper is gone and is now gone for good. It's not coming back. So if you missed the boat again for like the fourth time, uh, it's you're out of luck. It's gone forever. Um, Yes, Trina, you could head over to an Australian demo site. Yeah, you could. You sure could. So, hey, hit up Kylie Bertucci. Bertucci. Head over to Alyssa Tilsner. Um, you can check out any of the new goodies, yes, on an Australian site. You smarty pants, you. Hi, Mary. Hello. Um, yeah, so it's nice. I haven't, I haven't seen all of it. So, actually, that's a good idea. I'll do that. I have four hours to kill before I get to go to bed, right? So, anyway, um, there's this pecan pie ribbon. This is nice, the three color glimmer paper, uh, and then the fluffiest friends bundle. So these I am ordering tonight. One of the items is already sold out that we could pre-order, and that was the uh, birds and dragonflies um, that I've teased you with. I think last week I showed you these, but they're already sold out, so I'm just going to tease you some more. They're back the week of November 27th, but that's how popular they were. They we the demonstrators blew them out of their out of their stock. So that's the thing with the online exclusives, you guys. Is where is my face gone? With the online exclusives, um, they are while supplies last. Now they might restock them. They might not. We don't know. 
they won't tell us because they don't know. They look at sales, they look at trends, they look at what's hot. If they can order them back in in a timely manner at a reasonable cost, it gives them the flexibility. So we don't, I, I know that those birds are coming, the birds and uh, dragonflies are coming back the week of November 27th, but we don't know, you know, if any of these things are coming back. Remember the little trek, the little red truck? It sold out. Um, oh, it could be me. I don't know, Cindy, if my connection's good or not. So, oh, hi, Annie. There's Annie from Waterloo, Indi Waterloo, Indiana. I've got my list here for other people who might pop in too. See if I can remember where they're from. Anyway, so this is urgent. If you want me to order for you, if you're long distance, it's going to be a 1095 minimum shipping charge if it's under $100, uh, or it'll be the 11%, depending on how much you order. So for example, if you ordered the Garden Meadows, if that's all you ordered, there would be a 1095 minimum shipping charge. Unless you're a porch pickup. If that's the case, I can tag it onto mine, but you have to let me know by nine because math is hard and after nine, I'm really stupid. And so I need to do the paperwork up. So by nine o'clock. Let me know if you want any of this stuff. Okay. All right. Next moving swiftly and with purpose. That's the first deadline is tonight. This is the second deadline is Wednesday. Y'all I'm going on vacation. The Bertrams are leaving the house. I actually, I did. Um, I booked today transportation from the airport to the hotel, because if you remember my April, 2022 antics, I kind of forgot to get any sort of, um, transportation from the hotel to Orlando uh, or Universal Studios and that cost me oh three or four hundred US dollars to take like an Uber there so yeah I'm very proud of myself for booking transportation anyway the point of that is I'm going on vacation and I need to get all of these kits mailed out the deadline to order for this class is Wednesday all right I'll pop them in the mail on Thursday but you need to order by Wednesday it is the Night Divine Bundle you get the stamp set and the dies, $80 porch pickup, $90 long distance. If you want just the stamp set and the class, $50 porch pickup, $60 long distance. If you want just the cards, it's $45. You can swap out stuff. So if you have this bundle, if you pick another bundle for $65.50, yeah, you can swap it out for, oh, hey, you should swap out for one of these, these the new online exclusivity things if it's a similar price. Then you get the class for free, essentially. But the deadline for that is like Wednesday midnight. Excellent, Marcella, fantastic. Hey, princess. Hello. Welcome to the party. Hi, Donna. Hey, MJ. Jennifer. Everybody's coming in. Cindy. All right. Okay, everybody's here. Nikki. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so these are the cards we're making on November 24th. That's the class. Deadline is Wednesday. Moving along swiftly and with purpose. Yeah, do you like these? I, think, I want to say it was a dollar fifty. I can't remember now. Dollarama. No, dollar twenty-five, I think it was. Dollarama. Good. I'm glad you're loving it, Jennifer. Excellent. All right. So that's that. Now, next thing. I just posted this half an hour ago, and it only took me four times to print it before I got it right. Stop. Focus. What's happening here? Focus. Nice nails. Spring fling. Come on. Focus. What the heck? Please focus. Work with me. Two weeks only. There. Oh, there we go. Okay. So this is my next deadline is November 21st. So I pre I'm pretty excited. I've been working on this for a couple weeks. Um, but as, as usual, I'm always last minute. I wanted to get it out tonight. And so I printed it half an hour ago after fixing the poster four times. Anyway. <laughs> All right. Um, oh, mine's acting up too, Jennifer. It could be you. It could be me. Uh, adhesive kit. So I, I've just said, I've just done a post in Tamara's Paper Trail and Tamara's Paper Trail VIPs, and I'll also put in my newsletter on Wednesday. But I'm putting together like a little Christmas special. That's um, it's only for two weeks. November 21st is the deadline to register or to order one of these, and there is a link in my post that takes you to a form to be completed. In the form. You will say that, yes, I am, please sign me up for this kit. This is my base kit. And there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight items in this lovely adhesive bag. Okay. So you're going to get everything in this kit and it's catalog pricing. So I'm eating the tax and the shipping to get it to me. If you're long distance, then there has to be a $16.99 shipping charge. And that's not my fault. That's Canada Post's fault. But look at this cute little adorable box that they have now. It's $16.99. Plus tax, but I'll eat the tax on that. So if you're long distance, I will mail that to you for an extra $16.99 because it fits in here perfectly. Okay. And you can also, if you click on the form, there are 
options to add on to this kit. There's not uh, an option to take things out. So you can't say, oh, can I have the kit, but I don't want the glue. No, this is the kit. This is the kit. $65.50, right? So you're saving a bunch. You're saving the tax and the shipping on that. Uh, and this is essentially, these are the essential tools that I use all of the time. And then in the form, there's the option to add in like the adhesive strips, um, your adhesive sheets, uh, the fine tip liquid glue, if you're into that sort of thing. So in this base kit, you're going to get a silicone mat. You're going to get the stamp and seal and a refill. You're going to get the mini glue dots, hopefully in a box that's not mangled. You're going to get the tear and tape. And you're going to get a pack of the mini dimensionals, the large dimensionals, and a liquid glue. And that all fits nicely into your little packet. Get one for yourself, get one for your crafty friends. I just think it makes a great Christmas gift for people on your team, people in your life who are crafters, or yourself. If if you're like me, um, you end up with people, uh, mothers, brothers, aunts, who say, what would you like for Christmas? And um, usually I'll say, I don't need anything. It's fine. You know what? No, I need adhesive. Everybody needs adhesive. What a great little kit. $65.50. $16.99 for shipping if you need that um, mailed to you. I'll get that off to you as soon as I can. But I'm going to do a bulk order on November 21st. And I think I really only have 14 of these. Um, of course, I guess I could buy more. But the deadline for that is uh, going to be midnight November 21st. And I'll order on the 22nd. So that's my next deadline. Last but certainly not least, operators are standing by. Tracy and I are... Um, we're hosting a January to April 2024 catalog launch. Okay, this is an in-person event. So I'm sorry, my long distance people, there's not a to-go option for this. This is a, it's a show and tell. Um, you're going to come and you're going to see all of the, all of the suites, the eight suites that are going to be in the upcoming hall, um, January catalog. So there are three options for you. There's a drop-in where you're not going to tell us in advance. You're just going to surprise us and show up at the door as happy as we would be to see you. We don't like that option. <laughs> we want to know who's coming and how many and how much to order. So the second option is um, you're going to pay, you're going to register in advance. So if you drop in at the door, it's $10. And for the $10 you get in, um, uh, you don't get any product, but you get to see all the displays, take pictures, and you get in uh, for the door prizes. Now, if you register in advance, $15, so just a measly $5 more, you're going to get a package of embellishments that could be a roll of ribbon, it could be a part pack of paper, it could be whatever we can scoop that's hopefully new, if we can get enough. You're going to see all the samples, um, so on and so forth. That's $15 option. You have to pre-register. The $45 option is same as above. You get in all the stuff, you get a um, some, some sort of embellishment, and you're also going to make eight note card make and takes from the new suites. Thank you. Tracy has just posted the link because she is my best, my best operator. <laughs> She's, she sees me coming. Um, so that's the best option. $45. $45. You get all that stuff. Um, you get to see all the new products. You get to touch them. You get to play with them. But we need to know who's coming for that. So if you can register, you're not registered until you fill out the form choosing one of the two options, the $15 or the $45 option, and you send Tracy the money. Okay, and everything is in the form. Everything you need to know is in the form. The e-transfer to Tracy is in the form. We need to have you complete the form and pay Tracy by the 4th of December because we need to order ASAP so that stuff arrives in time. Okay, so those are the burning issues. And normally I don't do that many shameful plugs at the beginning of my show, uh, but that was necessary because time is of the essence, people. Right. I'm a little wound up tonight. I'm a little wound up. I made a today I found a little stressful. I'm not gonna lie. Today's a little stressful, and I'm like, I need a vacation. And I wanted to play more than I got to play today. But it's my own darn fault because I made a few mistakes, right, Heather? <laughs> and then I decided I had to get my adhesive kit out. Like right now. Right now. Not now, right now. So tomorrow I'm off to the doctors. I have to go, oh, they called me and they're like, oh, your blood work is back. The doctor wants to see you. You know what that means? That probably means I'm pre-diabetic or something, something like that. Anyway, I get to go through you know, that lump I had on my neck. It's, I can still feel like I can still feel my lymph node there. So I'm not too happy that I can still feel that. But anyway, going for all my test results tomorrow and I've got a lot of stuff and things to do. A lot of errands because we're leaving town on Sunday. Um, so I need to wrap my head around a whole lot of stuff. 
And I don't know if, you, if you're like me, but I'm leaving town for four days, so I have to be four months ahead of the game, right? I got to do everything for four months. Clean the house completely on the weekend? Completely. Like cupboards, closets, drawers, you name it. Because uh, Alicia's best friend is going to live in my home. And I cannot have somebody live in my home and open a cupboard and have stuff fall on her head. So <laughs> it's been busy. And that's how I'll be until I get on that plane. Hmm. <sighs> Let's have fun. Can I have a sip of my club soda? Mm -hmm. All right. <sighs> Donna says, Facebook ads up. I normally go to the YouTube. Okay. I don't know. Maybe it's me. Is anybody else having any problem? Oh, perfect, Mary. Yeah, win the lottery and come on by. <laughs> All right. We're going to play. Now, hello. Hello, Ray Pale. Okay. Hello. <laughs> Welcome. Um, all right. So we're going to play tonight and I haven't even put these cards together. So it could be a real, really interesting time. <laughs> now, this is a layout that you're going to like if you've got a lot of six by six paper lying around, or if you've got a lot of 12 by 12 paper lying around, it's going to, um, it's going to have us making three cards in a short amount of time using the stack slice and shuffle technique. Now we've, I've done this before where we stacked sliced and shuffled four pieces, uh, or four, four times. We ended up with four, uh, we ended up with four pieces. We're going to end up with three this time. So it's slightly different. Hi, Ida. Hi, Lillian. Mary, hello. So it's a slightly different take on it. And I found it really in and out, hey? Well, it could be me, you guys. I don't know. I'm sorry. I apologize. Hopefully it's still watchable. Um, and or hopefully the replay is going to be all right. All right. So we don't need any strict measurements on this. But what we're going to do... Where's Mr. Pointer? I lost Mr. Pointer. Here he is. All right. So we're going to start off. We're making three cards tonight going to start with our standard card base, eight and a half by five and a half. So hopefully you cut three of those. Oh, good. Marcella's not having any problems. Okay. And Marcella, I would think you would uh, have trouble because you're over in PEI. I don't know how your Wi-Fi connection is there, but a lot of my friends down east, they don't have the best um, internet connections there just because of where they are. Hi, Carolyn. Hi, Judy. Okay. I'm glad. Okay. I'm glad some are working. Maybe it's just, I don't know. So there are three card bases. Then we're bringing in three cardstock layers, and these are five and a quarter by four, and I cut three of them. Thanks, Kathy. Okay, good. I like when it's good. Then we're bringing in three pieces of coordinating designer papers. So whatever that looks like in your world. I grabbed paper from, oh, and they're three and three quarters by five each. Oh, is it good in PI? Fabulous. Good to know. Okay, great. So this is the paper from the Mary Bold and Bright, and I love that pattern. And I love that pattern, but I couldn't find a third pattern in that paper that I liked with these two pieces. There's a lot of great patterns, but I didn't, I didn't like them with these two. So I grabbed um, for my stash, I've got the, um, the six by six papers that are like the all family, the all assorted, I don't even know what they're called. Do, 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 do. You know the one I'm talking about, these. Like the designer series papers that are in the brights, neutrals, regals, subtles, they also have them in the color. So I grabbed the ones for the, mm, let's say brights, because this is my blueberry bushel. No, is that brights? What's in brights? I don't even know. What is blueberry bushel in? I want to say brights. Regals? Oh, shut the front door. Okay, well, I grabbed it from the regals, and I chopped up that piece of paper. So these are all three and three quarter by five. Okay, that's important to know. Hey, Stacy, how are you? I know where you're from. Wait, don't tell me. I wrote you down. I wrote you down. Stacy, Stacy, wait. Didn't I write you down? Oh, that was Lynn. Stacy, you're in the U.S. though. You're not in Montana. You're, uh, not Minnesota. No. If you say Ontario, I'm going to scream. No, you're in like Minneapolis. No, something with an M. Where are you, Stacy? You're not in Ottawa, are you, Ontario? Eh. One day I'll get it right. Okay, then we needed some scraps die cuts for the sentiments. And then we just need our trimmer and our tools and all that stuff. I sh I'm sorry, Stacy. I'm sorry. I know I should know this. I know. And if you say like Sherwood Park or something, I'm going to cry. <laughs> but tell me where you're from, Stacy. Okay, bring in your trimmer. trimmer. All right, let's take that off there. As I wait for Stacy to chime in on to where she's from. You guys should know where Stacy's from. You got to help me out here, girl. Joe Williams is in North Carolina. I got a lot of girls in North Carolina. That's exciting for me. I was in North Carolina. I was in Hilton Head once. 
once upon a time. All right, ladies, are you ready for this? Enough of the rambling. Get out your trimmer. You got your trimmer out? Okay. Get your papers. Get your papers out. Three of them. They all match. They look nice and pretty. Stacy, why aren't you answering me? <laughs> I'm waiting. I'm waiting, girl. Okay. I'll see you in a minute. There's a delay. All right. So we're going to take our three pieces of paper and we're going to stack them on top of each other. Okay. They're stacked. Oh, I should give credit for this while I wait for Stacy to answer. Um, I got this layout from Mary, I want to say Blocher, 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 Blocher. I don't know how to say that. Mary Stampin' Cafe. This is the video where I took her measure, like I, I watched her video. I've seen it, I've seen it all over the internet. I, I dropped my trimmer about four times today and the blade has gone walkabout. So let's just get into my tickle trunk. I'll find a new blade. Oklahoma. Oh, there you go, Stacy. Okay. I'm writing you down, Stacy. I should have known that. It's Lisa is from Wisconsin. Okay. I'm writing you down. I'm writing you down, Stacy. Oklahoma. It can't be Oklahoma. I thought there was an M. Well, there's an M in Oklahoma. Oklahoma. <laughs> <laughs> okay, back to our show. Okay, all right. And Luann from Wisconsin. Luann, demonstrator Luann. All right, thanks you guys. Her comment didn't come through. Okay, so I'm just getting a new trimmer blade because I don't know where mine went. I'll probably step on it later. All right. Okay, so back to our show. Gong show. Stack your papers. Now, we are going to turn, or let me see how I'm doing this. I am going to put this corner, see this corner? I'm going to put that corner on the two inch line of my trimmer. So it's going to go over here. It's going to go here. Okay. Two inches. And then it doesn't matter where the rest of it goes. We just want this tip on the two. But I want to slice this in some sort of shape. So if, I, if this is way down here, I could slice it there. I could slice it there. Like, it doesn't matter. What I found I liked, which was what uh, Mary had done, was she put it on the two-inch line. And I, I don't want it to go all the way to this tip. So I'm going to cut it short of that tip. So here, like at this angle. Or, you know, at that angle. But I don't want it to go all the way to the tip. It's just the shape that I like. So I'm going to stack this nicely again because I've moved it about four times here. Okay. So this is going to go on the two. And I'm going to put it here so it's about there. No precise measuring. Let's not overthink this. Okay. Hold this down firmly. And we're going to slice it. Because there's three pieces of paper here, we're going to go back and forth a few times. Hold, it, hold this firmly, though. Just to make sure it's cut through them all. Okay. So move that over to the side. Now this piece, I'm going to put this corner in the track and this corner, I'm going to go down to the three, to the three over here. Okay. So this corner is on the three and this one's in the track. I'm going to slice it again. Thanks, Teresa. It's called Spring Fling. Okay, so these are the shapes that I've got. But seriously, ladies, there's no right or wrong. That's just what Mary did, and that's just what I followed. I just did what Mary did. You can you can chop this any old way you please. Okay, you're just chopping it into three chunks, but you're leaving them stacked up like this. Okay, so keep them in their little piles. Hey, Trina. These are fun, Joy. They are fun. Okay, so here are our three piles. So we're going to take, I'm going to start with this bottom one. I'm just going to lay them out. So I'm, this is kind of the shuffle part. Okay, so then I'm going to grab my, thanks, Sonia. I'm going to grab my next pile, this one. And instead of dealing them like this, I'm going to go over one. Okay, so this pattern, so I'm going to go there and then there and then there. Then I'm going to grab this third pile and I'm going to deal it, but I'm not going to go here and I'm not going to go here. I'm going to go here. Okay, there. And then this one's here and this one's here. So you have the same shapes, the same pieces, but they're all different. So that's that, the 
fa la la fa la la fa la la blue 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 right and they just it's how you can make them work on your card making three cards at once so you've chopped it once and boom you've got the layout for three cards and you can decorate them the same or differently it's up to you it's a fun one Cindy so like this one I found easier the, the one that had four I don't know I think it was too much for my mind it was too much for my little brain to handle <laughs> three I can handle you chop it so again you put this tip on the two and then I just sliced and then you put the corner in the track and the other corner on the three and you chop that I can handle so this is this is our these are our cards you guys we're done right you can tune out now <laughs> but please don't don't leave me no I worked hard for these cards and I actually want to see how they turn out because I haven't finished them. I did finish one <laughs> with some different <laughs> paper and the one that Mary did was really quite pretty. It was using the bear paper, the very cute paper. So if I have time, which I should do because these are quick and easy and if I would just not overthink the decorating, um, we'll see. <laughs> now I'm just sticking with the white base but I mean you could do a blueberry bushel base and have red peeking in behind uh, from the cards I had earlier I just liked the white and honestly um, it's been a day so I just I'm just sticking with the white base although now I'm like oh I don't know if I want the white base it's fine we can always make more Tamara so I'm gonna bring in my toys from my adhesive kit you should get an adhesive kit you should for your friends, for you. All right, so I'm going to go in. You can use uh, liquid glue. will allow you more time to um, move this stuff around once it gets onto your layer. So these are the layers that I had that were five and a quarter by four. Okay, this is blueberry bushel. And I'm using my silicone mat. If you've watched me before, it's, it, it, if, you have, if you ever have to do this with your adhesive, use this underneath it and you'll never have to do that again it catches like every time I'll do this. so that's why I've included this mat in your adhesive kit there's also a place on that form if you'd like more than one of everything in there let me know that too I think it's a great idea for a for a gift for your crafty friends I think all my ideas are great ideas <laughs> who am I kidding <laughs> if I thought it was a bad idea I wouldn't do it right so Alicia's at the Medi Center right now. Oh my gosh. Are you talking to me? Oh, she's home already? Already? In less than an hour? Maybe they couldn't take her? Can you go find out? I'm curious. So here's a fun fact about Alicia. Every trip we've ever been on, she ends up in the hospital or with some sort of ailment or disease or something. So like right before grad, she got pink eye. Um, when we went to um, Canmore, we ended up in their hospital because she had some, we think it's tonsillitis now, but um, okay. I won't do anything fun, Jennifer. Okay. Oh, Donna. Okay. Envelopes. Yes. Donna, Donna, <laughs> you were in my head as I spent an entire day I think it was Friday or Saturday, one day I had to go through and I had to stamp all the insides and the envelopes and I went you know I really should listen to Donna one of these days and do them at the time it took me forever forever anyway so Alicia's latest ailment so we're going we're leaving town on Sunday and uh, so I've been pumping her full of echinacea and uh, vitamin C I'm like don't get sick well doesn't she go and get some sort of I don't even know what it's called some sort of mouth disease of some sort essentially it's just like a like a canker in her in her gum and I'm like well just stick it with a pin <laughs> she's like no mom <laughs> like with me anything just stick it with a pin right you get a sty in your eye stick it with a pin whatever she won't do that and it did advise against that and because I could get infected and stuff I'm like oh whatever anyway so she just went to the medi center and apparently she's back but she only left an hour ago so either she got in and out real fast or they turned her away cream cream in her mouth a cream for her mouth anyway so I just stick it with a pin on her gum okay all right said if it gets worse 
then come in for antibiotics. If it gets worse, we'll be in Disney. Okay, I'm on a live, but anyway, it's okay. <laughs> Thanks, honey. She, that was fast. Okay, anyway, so that's just the way it works with our with Alicia, is that we're, whenever there's some big event, something happens. Like, she gets COVID or something bad happens. Goodness me. Okay, did I do anything fun? I don't think so, Jennifer. Okay, you guys are just watching me tape. Like, look how easy this layout is, you guys. And it's nice, right? It's fun, I think. So use up a bunch of paper. Okay, now I have to think. All right. We went over to my dad's on Saturday, had a little bit of a party um, for his birthday. So his birthday was on Wednesday. Uh, and I go over on Wednesdays, and I think y'all saw my the picture with my dad with his party hat on. And that was a good day for, for him. Um, clarity wise. But anyway, I said, well, we'll come over on the, on the weekend when the girls can come and, and stuff. So we went over on Saturday, but he, he was quite confused. Um, so it wasn't, it wasn't what I had hoped it would be, but that's fine. He still, uh, enjoyed having us come over. And so that was Saturday. And then so yesterday, all I did was clean. Like it was, I love daylight savings. I love the fall daylight savings because I don't sleep in. I, heck, I don't sleep. It's just an extra hour of not sleeping. So I get so much done. So much done. Like I cleaned out all the closets and the drawers, the pantry, like you name it, the Tupperware, everything. I did it all. I did it all. <laughs> did the paperwork. I did all the things. It was just, it was a great day. Okay, I'm thirsty again. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Black licorice or alum with... Oh, stop it, Donna. Black licorice or alum. Huh. Are you just eating black licorice or are you rubbing it on it? What are you doing? It's not a canker, though. It's like some sort of infection. So I don't know what it is, but anyway. A child's going to be the death of me. Okay, so I'm going to try what I tried with my earlier card. Um, brand new roll of ribbon. So this is my basic white. Here's a little I thought, oh, I'm not going to open this. I'll show them my trick. So when you have a roll of ribbon, you know this, that can sometimes be really hard to get off. Squeeze your ribbon and it kind of pops up this, this part and it just peels off. So it doesn't seem quite stressful. I'm going to cut off, I think, 13 inches. This is approximately right for this. Yeah, I'm a little off today. I don't know. I was... Uh, it was good, and then I got myself all worked up. I was all worked up because I made a mistake, and it made me angry. All right, where are we at here? So I'm going to tie this. Mm, probably should have been 14, but anyway, I'm going to try to tie a knot. I hope this works. Yeah, 13. I don't like to waste the ribbon. 13 works. Yeah. Eat the licorice and put the alum on it. With the alum, she will be spitting a lot. Ugh. I don't think she'll want to do that, but okay. Well, they gave her, they gave her, uh, Craig said they gave her a uh, antibiotic cream that she has to put on four times a day. So, okay. All right. So there's my ribbon. Now this is going to bulk up your postage a bit. Um, so you might not want to use this ribbon, but I like it. It's, it's good to tie. Like it's soft enough to tie. Now, when it comes to mailing these, here's what I, a couple tricks you can do. When you go to mail it, flip it inside out like this. But um, another thing I'll do is I will take the backing of our papers. This is them bones. Let's see. Here's the backing of one of our designer papers. And I'll chop that to five and a quarter. By four. See how I just like... <laughs> I'm just a little butterfly flitting from here to here. So when I go to mail it, I will put this on top of it and put it in and then just kind of squish it down. And it, a lot of times it'll go through the slot with this to cover it, protect it. So anyway, that's what I'm going to do there. All right, so I'm now going to pop these up on dimensionals. That was just a little extra tip. Tamara's tips. Because you're just recycling that cardboard anyway. All right. Can 
Can I just say though, I'm pretty darn excited that I got those adhesive kits done. It was on my to-do list for about three weeks and uh, I got her done. Okay, so I'm gonna put this here. Now, when it comes to the label, let's see if I can do this. For the labels, I cut out, this is like, love this shape from these dies. Which ones are these? These are the, I don't know what these are called. I forget what these are called. Essentials? Something essentials. Layering essentials, I think they're called. What was weird, Jennifer? <laughs> Layering essentials. And I like these shapes. I also, I love this shape. This, these, uh, flat, these ones. Love them. This one just really appeals to me. Okay. Montana. Hello, Mary Ellen. All right. Nope, we're still here. Jennifer, are you still there? Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and what am I going to stamp on this one? I think, <coughs> excuse me, I'm going to use a few things. So this paper is the Mary Bold and Bright and I'm going to go in with the, I want to do and bright. I want to do Mary and Bright, but I want to mix the two up because I hadn't I hadn't used this stamp set yet. So this is More Wishes is in Nested Essentials. Thank you, Cindy. I haven't used this set until today. So I'm grabbing the Mary from this one, the More Wishes. And I want to do the and bright. Hi, Coda. What's up? What's up, buddy? Uh, where's my Anne Bright? Mary. There it is. What's that, boy? Come in or go out. What are you doing? His little nose is peeking. Just his little nose. What's up, Coda? Can you see what the dog wants? Why would he want me? Doesn't usually want me. Okay. So what color should I use? I think I want to use... I'm going to use this, which I believe is Sweet Sorbet. Uh, it is uh, Poppy Parade. Poppy Parade. Okay, so I was wrong. Poppy Parade. Poppy Parade. For the red. And so I'm going to do, I'm going to stamp this in the, the Mary. Oh, thanks, Leslie. Okay, well, that's weird. For some people, I'm good, and for others, I'm not. Oh, that just flickered, like, really weird. That was really weird. Extremely weird. The whole thing just blinked. So I don't know if it's me or not. But anyway, okay. I'm going to get my re-anchor out because this is not Poppy Parade. I had uh, moved some of the ink, obviously. And then I'm going to use the blue as an accent. Jennifer. Weird. That was weird. Excellent. Thank you, Holly. Oh, Holly. Holly. No, I was going to say it's Polly from North Carolina. Holly, where are you? Make sure I'm doing this right. This is Poppy Parade. Poppy Parade. Okay, I'm just going to add a little bit ink here. Not too much. Not too much because it'll be too gloopy and then that's not good. It's a good... Oh, Leslie. <laughs> I sent you a message, Leslie. So if you want, this one, this... More Wishes is a $34 set. So that would replace that other one that you said you already had. Okay, let's see if this is going to work. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. Let's try the Mary and see if this will ink nicely. You don't want it too juicy because I'm telling you, it'll bleed and it'll look nasty. Yeah, Facebook can be cranky. You're right. I can be cranky. All right, so I'm going to try this and see how it works. I'm going to do Mary right in the middle. Mary. I could scooch this in a little bit here, hey? Mary, I'm gonna hold it, make sure it's got a good coverage there. That was totally crooked, not having that. <laughs> Try it again. Okay, it was cold and now it's like sweltering hot down here. It's not thinking very nicely. All right, let's try this again. You know what? It's why this is confusing my eyeballs because it's there are too many lines here. Here's what I'm gonna do without trying to get ink all over my finger. I'm gonna use a bigger block. There are too many lines in my eye. I'm just trying to push it. I don't want to get red everywhere. This I'm just changing it to a bigger block so that I can say there we go. See what's going on here now. I can see where the edge of this is. This block was the same size as this, and it was confusing my eyeballs. So if you use a bigger block. 
you can see where you're going a lot easier. All right, so let's try this. So Mary. Oh, that's a great idea. Donna says she's done this before. And so when she gets to this stage, she'll run it through the embossing folder and emboss the whole thing. That's a great idea, Donna. Yep. Um, the stamp set, uh, Kathy, this is the More Wishes. It's in the catalog. And we have we have one in the annual catalog that it coordinates with. So now I have to keep these both forever because you could say, you know, thanks, love, <laughs> or um, happy Christmas, which is what they say in the UK. They say happy Christmas more than Merry Christmas, right? So there's, there's some options you can mix and match. But anyway, I digress. So there's the Merry. Just got my finger in the red. I need to calm down. I'm just, I'm all that tonight. Where is my blueberry bushel? So now I'm going to try the blueberry bushel. I'm going to grab me some scrap. Surely I've got some scrap lying around here. Here we go. There's some scrap. And I'm going to do the... Thanks, Stacy. Stacy from Oklahoma. I'll try to remember that can't promise anything. Now this one, again, you don't want it to be too gloopy because it will settle into the, into the words. So we'll see how I do on this one and bright. There's a piece of something, cat hair. Yeah, there's a hair on there. Oh my God, you guys, maybe we should come back and try this again tomorrow. Well, some of you are still hanging around with me, so it's okay. And bright. All right. Scissors. I like sets that have this because you don't have to die cut them. You just need your scissors and you just go snip. 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 No die cutting required. Okay, we're going to go Mary. Oh, so you know what? I'm going to go this way, I think. Now that I've secured this down. I want to move my bow to the other side. It's tricky to do once you've got it in place. So what I like to do is I'll bend the card. I'll bend this layer, right? So I'm going to squeeze it like this. So you're going to squeeze it and then shimmy it. Shimmy. Come on. Now he's on the other side. Like that, because I want to go like this. Because I want the Mary and Bright to go like that, I think. Sure. But this, I wish that it was the other way around. Maybe I did want it this way, Mary and Bright. No. Overthinking, Tamara. Stop it. Put her down. Get her done. I have two more that I could I could do it the other way on the other. Now this one, I need to put the dimensionals at the top and the bottom. Oh, stop. This goes on here. This. There we go. Mary. Now we're going to put the dimensionals at the top and the bottom so that they're not sitting on the ribbon because then it just flaps in the wind. Ask me how I know. What ribbon is that, Mary? It is the white herringbone ribbon, three quarter inch. I think it's in the annual. It's nice and soft, like it's, it ties easily. All right, so take that. This like that, Mary. Kind of wishing, you know what? I wonder. Would this look would it look better on the green background? Now I guess the blue. Hey, I was gonna say it's a lot of blue there, but okay. We'll I'm gonna let this one be blue. Mary. Yeah, I guess I'm not getting the next layout done. And bright. So now I'm thinking that should be green. Should that be green instead? 
Overthinking. Overthinking. So anyway. It's my party. I can overthink if I want to. All right. So let's try this with the shaded spruce and see if I like it better. It's just, it's a lot of blue. Okay, so that's pulling really dark right now, but it'll lighten in a second, like this did. This is the same color. This is the, it just stamps really dark in the beginning. That was shaded spruce. Ah, cut that totally crooked. <laughs> okay, you can use the ribbon that is white but shiny in different colors. Yes, iridescent. Yes, I know which one you mean. I know which one, Ida, because I had it out. I mean this one. The white iridescent. That one, right? It's a little bit stiffer to tie. Okay, this one I'm just going to use a little bit of glue here. Moving on, 746. Boy, I do make things complicated, don't I? Merry and bright. Then you can embellish with different rhinestones. Um, the ones that I had used last week were from our retired rhinestones that I must have put away again. I did. Here they are. They are retired. I'm sorry. Holiday rhinestone basics jewels. But you know what? They might, they're going to get very lost in here because it's already pretty busy. But uh, maybe I could do one. We do have, uh, no, I think the red one's retired too. Let's see. Maybe I'll do a green. Get a nice green one. Sure, just one like that okay and then Donna I know she says envelopes and insides but I'll do it I'll do it before I leave I have to stay up till midnight Donna so I'll do it I'll do it tonight so that's the first one um I'm gonna show you no uh, maybe I'll wait till the end um let's see what other ribbon here we could use this one is the silver but it will get a little bit more lost. Like this is a pretty busy paper. So I didn't like that one because it's too sheer. So I don't care for that one. I don't wanted this iridescent one. Sure, why not? Let's do that one. I'm gonna do that at 14 this time just because. Actually, you know what? Why don't I do a faux bow for this one? So let's do a faux not and maybe it won't be as crazy bulky so I'm going to snip it off here so you're just going to cut it like this grab your tear and tape what about the ones that came with the Marion Bright oh yeah yeah those discs the discs that you can't order because they're sold out they're in here somewhere yeah I can look at those yeah those certainly would work um like I say I'm not going to put a lot of the bling on here though because it is going to get lost but yeah forgot about those because I haven't been using them because you can't get them. Some of the embellishments came back in today. Um, all right, so I'm going to tie this down. Three of them came back in. But the, not those discs. Okay, so I'm securing this with tear and tape. Sandwich it on like that. Okay. Then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pop this up on dimensionals. Yeah, I need it. Teresa, back to the nails. I needed a lighter color because I um, they get they're getting shorter every week. I've just been abusing them lately. I hope that's red ink and not blood. I don't know. I've been abusing them lately, so I just I wanted to go with a light color. So yeah, we'll see if I can get two weeks out of them because I'll be leaving town on Sunday. We'll see. I was doing a lot of cleaning, so that kind of mangled them a lot. All right, so we're gonna put that on there like that. Now, how about, where did 
that. So this is a Merry Christmas. I could do like this. How do you like it with the green? The green, hmm. The green and green, not so much. Do I have any more? I'm thinking on this one. We did red. Uh, I like the red writing, so we can do that again. What color? Whoa, what color? Things are flying everywhere. What color should I do the, uh, the background? I'm thinking not the blue. Should I do green? I could do yellow. I could do the poppy. No, not poppy. One of the greens. Let's try one of these greens. Let's scrap her in here somewhere. Let's try this one. Let's see how it works. Granny apple green. Red, green, Mary, and red for the rest. Green, Mary, with the green written. On what color background, though? Um, what about the ones that came with the Mary? Yeah, okay, I already did it. Uh, green, Mary, and red for the rest of the same. Maybe, but now I want to do. I want to do red again because now I think I'm going to go with a green background, like the lighter green background. We'll see. All right, so Mary. Maybe on the last one. And bright. Uh, Mary. And bright. Is that too many different greens? Mary. And bright. What do we think? Um, Penny. Hello, Penny. Um, the paper I'm using, this is from the Mary Bold and Bright. This is from our assorted family pack of Regals. And the stamp sets I'm using are the More Wishes and the Mary and Bright. Okay, so we're not... I think I like the blue better than the green. Thoughts? And where did that dark green one? So if that was or Mary. No, I don't really like it with the green. Should we stick with blue? Use the blue? I think so, hey? I think I like the blue. With the red. Um, and what I want to do here, though, for the faux bow, I have to finish this off. So I'm going to do a chunk of about, let's try about six. Let's see what happens here. So I'll cut it at six inches. I'm just going to do a crisscross. I guess I didn't need six. That was a little excessive. And that's a much thinner knot that isn't going to bulk up your postage quite as much. And what we can do is use a glue dot to secure it. The bright green is pretty. Okay. So I'm just going to put a glue dot here. So this, it doesn't save a ton of ribbon as far, like you're still using, what did I use? 13 inches and now six inches. Um, well, I trimmed a bunch off, but it's not as bulky. I can promise you that. It's not as bulky. Okay. So you like the bright. I'm going to do it for the love of God. Why am I overthinking this so much? Just put it down. Nobody's going to say, oh, that's nice, but no. Okay, and then again, I'm going to put the dimensionals at the bottom and at the top so it doesn't run into the ribbon. 
So as we're getting near, oh, it's 7.54, okay. So please, if you were thinking of ordering any of the online exclusives in Canada, I'm staying up till midnight. I'm ordering anyway. Let me know what you want. And uh, if you want one of my adhesive kits, order that up. I could order or I could order up your adhesives tonight too. Put that over there. Um, and get that in the mail to you sooner than later. And don't forget to register for our open house, like for our catalog launch. It's going to be awesome. It's our first. Mary and Bright. Okay, let me see if I can find those discs. I don't know where they are. I didn't see them. There they are. No, that's not them. I lied. Why would I know where they are? Well, I mean, they're supposed to be in the adhesive bucket, but I have a lot of adhesives in the adhesive bucket. dots. Oh lord, I don't know where they are. Don't know. Can't find them. They're gone. They're lost. Missing in action. So I'll have to use these ones. Pretend that they're the speckled the flat dots, whatever they're called. This one, let's do a blue. Here on there. Let's do a blue. There. That's two. Okay, well I did two. Not bad for me, who's rambling like crazy. Okay, so there are the two. The third one, we'll figure out. I'll figure out something to do with that in a minute. So those are the two. And then this is one I made earlier with different paper. Why is it so close? This is from the Mary Bold and Bright with a different pattern. Uh, Wink of Stella and the Bulbs. Well, I could certainly do that too, Cindy. I could do that for anything. Yeah. The options are endless. So that's all with the Mary Bold and Bright. This is just the other pattern. Um, what I was playing with with this for a while were the trees from the Marius trees. I cut them out. I just don't know where they are. <laughs> They're great big Christmas trees. And I was playing with those for a while that you could just, you know, layer, layer the trees. You can find all your layers, which I cannot. Got all the trees. So there's so much you could do with this layout, honestly. Right, great big tree with the Merry Christmas on it. That could be right in the middle with a bow. Here are the other ones. So these were the, I only decorated one because I had to make dinner. <laughs> Something like that. And then you could, I don't, my camera must have drooped again. It's, it's really close to my desk. Right, so you could just do that. Thank you, Stacy. And these are the ones we made tonight. So yeah, it's just all the decorating, but it's a great way to use up some of the some of the stash that we've got of the paper. <sighs> I'm exhausted. <laughs> I wasn't really in my groove tonight. I don't know, I'm a little off. Um, I am going to take pictures of the cards I did finish and I'm going to post them. And then if you played along, if you could post pictures of what you made in the comments, then we can all see that yes, it is a versatile layout, even though Tamara only did like two cards and one other card. Um, and we'll all share and we'll see what's what. All the things I said before, register by December 4th, which is like in three, it's less than a month. That is crazy for the, um, for the catalog launch. Tonight is the deadline to get in on the, on the online exclusives. Wednesday is the deadline for my night divine class, which I have to, I only have two left. You guys, come on, work with me here. I only have two of these left. Uh, Wednesday's the deadline for that. Um, something else that I forget. Oh, my kits, my, uh, my adhesive kit. They're so cute. You should get some. Uh, what else? That's it. I will be here Friday morning for coffee break at 10 AM mountain time. So pop in and I'll tell you all the things that I just told you. I'll tell them to you all over again with a cup of coffee. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you for hanging out with me tonight. You guys, that was fun. Uh, can't wait to see what you came up with. I will see you on Friday. Have an enjoyable week.